Admiral Stuart Russell was leading an exploration team through Wide Bay in 1844 using a map and information he received from Durham Boy. Henry Russell's team were deep in the Bunya Scrub Wide Bay when they came across a mob of about 50, 60 strong. The exploring party halted within about 14 metres of them. Russell says, the tribe neither approached nor retreated then one white man, Gilbury, came forward and, to Russell's astonishment, addressed them with, Who are you, white fellow? Russell writes in his diary that Gilbury was from the south and had committed some depredations. He was afraid of being shot. The tribe he was with had never seen white men before, though they'd heard of them. He rode out this fellow to come close up, desiring him to tell the others to stand back. I stationed our native boy behind to see that they did not steal round us. They wished to be friendly, but we declined further further intercourse, upon which they gently retreated, making no attempt to molest us. Had they seen us first, they would, in all probability, have tracked us unseen and, taking a favourable opportunity, have attacked us. On 11 October 1854, Walker referred to his report from 2 January 1854, of a collision between the Wide Bay Aboriginal people and the native police when the group had resisted the passing of the police at Obia Creek. The cause of the collision had been unknown, although a wanted Aboriginal man named, named Jerobere was present. Walker had not thought this sufficient. The Aboriginal people easily escaped. Walker later reported he had discovered that the real reason was to prevent the police from observing a runaway convict named Gilbury. Walker wrote that he had arranged a plan for his capture. Well, it appeared strange to Walker that none of the patrol parties had ever discovered the tracks of this man, as the track of a white man was different from that of an Aborigine. However, this could be explained as some of the women followed Gilbury and covered his track. 